Hi friends, it's Anna here today, and today I'm wearing my beautiful Naisa um, top, um, sweetheart top, and I love how this top looks, but I've gotten a couple questions from um, some of our followers about how easy or how hard is it to raise the neckline a little bit um, to make it a little bit more modest for their liking. Um, so I thought, why not go ahead and do a tutorial and show you just how easy it really is um, and show you, if you stick around till the end, what the difference is between this version and then the one that I'm gonna sew up a little bit higher up. So, let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do here is this is my front piece, this is my side piece, and this is my front center bodice. As you can see, this is cut on the fold, and this is what's gonna create that heart shape here at the front of the bodice. And this is what dictates how high or low this is going to be. Now here, if you look at your side bodice, you'll see that you have this little line right here. And that's where you're going to place the top of your bodice, your center bodice. You're gonna match that up. When you match that up, you'll see that you also match up here at the bottom. So that should match right up, right? So what we're going to do to be able to bring our bodice up is first figure out how much you want this bodice to go up the center. Um, I'm gonna just try it out and do a full inch and see what happens. And I'll show you what it looks like once I'm done. So what I did is here on the side bodice, I went through that line that marks where to meet the front at, and I'm gonna measure an inch. And I marked that here already, so that's my inch right there. That's all I'm doing to the side bodice, nothing else. Now to the middle, the center, we have to add that inch because, let me bring that back over. If I push this all the way up to be a higher, um, a higher front, you'll see that it ends up having an inch off at the bottom. So I'm short an inch here now because I moved it up. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna grab the center piece and I'm gonna add an inch to it. Now, you can add that inch here at the bust. If your bottom and bust um, width is a lot different, you wanna make sure that you have your bust width. But since mine is pretty close, I'm just going to add the inch here at the bottom when I cut my fabric. So my center bodice, liner and outer, are going to have an extra inch to account for me pushing the center bodice up. So I'm going to go ahead, cut out the fabric, and honestly, we're going to sew it the same exact way that we would sew the regular top, except for we're just going to place this top and center higher up than we did for the other one. So I'm gonna cut this fabric, we're gonna sew it up, and I'm gonna show you the difference between the one inch higher and the regular one, and then you can decide how much more you wanna move it up, if you wanna move it up even higher, or if you wanna move it, keep it lower, or this would also go for, if you wanted to even have more cleavage, you would go down however much you want and mark it, and then subtract it from the center piece. Let's say I wanna go down a half an inch more then you would subtract the half an inch at the bottom of the piece as well. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, now that my pieces have been cut out, like I said, we're just gonna sew this the same way that I sewed in our tutorial. So it's gonna be exactly the same way. So I'm just gonna go really quickly through it. If you have questions about how to sew this up, um, go ahead and check out our video tutorial on the Alien Mac YouTube channel. We have a couple videos on how to sew up this pattern. Um, the only thing that changes, once again, is the marking on the pattern piece where it tells you to start attaching is gonna be higher on this and that's really about it. All right, now I'm gonna grab my back and I'm gonna sew that line here at the back, right sides together, the inside seam. So this is the shoulder, the arm side here, so it's the inside that you're sewing, right sides together. And then for the front, I'm gonna prep the front by opening it up and placing my sides, right sides together at the sides. Now, the, you can grab your pattern piece and the line should be an inch higher because we added that length here at the bottom. So that should fit just right, right sides together on the outer edge. And we're going to do these steps, the same steps for the liner and the outer. All right, so here's my pattern piece. And if I lay it out, you'll see that my top right there matches the edge that I, ma that I marked. See how much higher it is than what it was before? That's what we wanted to do to add that height. All 
after we're done sewing that back and those fronts together we're going to come back and we're going to sew the top of the shoulder right here right sides together i'm just going to go ahead and put it all together now but like i said if you need a more detailed version if i'm going too fast for you on this video make sure that you check out or sew along for this pattern All right, I've got my front and my my outer and my liner sewn. So I'm gonna open up this neckline here. We're gonna sew up the neckline right sides together. Um, this takes a little bit of um, more detail to sew up the neckline. So if this is your first time sewing up, you may wanna go check out that tutorial where I go into detail on how to get this perfect neckline here. For the neckline, I'm using a triple stitch and I'm going all the way around. Now, as you can see here, my fabric is a little uneven, so make sure that that's nice and even when you're sewing. And then I'm going over to my serger to start where I left off and do the rest of it. All right, so here at the V, we're gonna clip all the way down to the V so that way it looks nice and even don't cut the thread just cut the v and then i'm going to do a couple of clips here at the turn you can trim down that seam allowance a little bit all right once that's done we're going to turn it right side out all right make sure you poke it all out and you give it a good steam here at the at the um sweetheart neck neckline here and now i'm going to go ahead and open it up and match up my sides outers with outers and liners with liners while i'm at it i'm also going to go ahead and prep my sleeve i'm doing the flutter sleeve version so that's why i sewed up the sides um if you're doing the burrito roll method with the flutter with the uh gathered sleeve so you'll do that a little bit different again that information is on the other video um on our tutorial on our youtube channel so make sure that you check that out All right, so now we turn it all right side out. We're almost done. We just got to touch leaves and then hem and we'll be done with this top. And I'll be able to show you what it looks like with a higher neckline. This is going to be super adorable. I'm going to grab my sleeve and turn it. Actually, I got to turn this inside out. I turned it right side out. Now I got to turn it inside out, but like the lining. Okay, so I love the fact that it's all finished on the inside. And if you are doing the sleeveless version, um, you could totally do this, um, sew that up in a way, the burrito method, that it would be reversible, which would be adorable too. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit my sleeve into my arm side and make sure that both of these are getting caught when you're sewing them on. And also make sure that you're fitting the right piece. So I have my back here, which should touch the back of my sleeve here. And I think I may leave my sleeve raw at the hem i'm not sure so once i sew this up i'll go try it on and then hem it and we'll be done so i'm just matching this right sides together here and i'm um, doing that for both sleeves All right, we are finished. That was so easy, such a quick change. Um, so here I am with my one with the lower neckline. So I'm gonna change into the other one so you can see the difference. All right, here I am wearing the higher neckline. I, I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side picture, but I feel like this is so much higher and I didn't even pull it up. On my other one, I kind of pulled it up when I was um, wearing it but um, I don't have to do that with this one. It's a lot higher up. It looks really, really good. Now, another thing that you could do if you want just the V to be higher up is that you, when you cut your heart, your heart shape, um, actually, let me show you that in a minute. If you didn't want your heart to go down as low, 
Um, you could also, when you're cutting this out, you're gonna put it on the fold, and instead of coming all the way down, you could come over and come up about a half an inch or so higher, depending on how high you want that arch to be, if you didn't want this whole arch to be super, super deep. So I changed the height of the bodice, but I didn't change the deepness of the sweetheart. If you wanted to change the deepness, you would go down and then kind of turn up here. Let me show you on a piece of paper. I wanted you to have this as well because some might want it lower here, higher here at the, at the actual V. And if that's what you want, so here's the original V. So what you would do is you would come from the original V and instead of going all the way down, you would go about a half an inch or however much higher you wanted this arch to be. Now that means that your sweetheart is not gonna be as pronounced, but it will be higher there. So this would be your new pattern piece here. So you would come and this would be your fold and you would come right here. So that's another different thing that you could do with it if you wanted to actually heighten the sweetheart shape. But what I did was I brought it up instead. All right, friends, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions below. Um, let me know what other things you were wondering about. If there's something about a pattern that you're like, is there any way we could do this? Um, comment below and let me know because I always check the comments and I get a lot of inspiration for our upcoming videos from your comments and your questions. I hope that you subscribe if you haven't um, so you don't miss any of our tutorials. Go find us on Instagram. Go grab your pattern, sew it up, and then come back and let me know um, how you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.